Hi, welcome to TCM, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Up next in our evening of classic documentaries, we have a film that bends the parameters of genre by mixing documentary footage into a fictional story, all in an effort to illustrate the deplorable living conditions of South African blacks under the oppressive apartheid policies of the government. From 1960, it's Come Back Africa. The film was made and self-financed by American filmmaker Lionel Rogerson, who shot the entire film secretly knowing the South African government would never allow him to make an honest film about the effects of apartheid. Rogerson and his wife traveled to South Africa with little more than the desire to make a film. They didn't even have an idea for a plot, let alone a script. They spent nine months in the country on a tourist visa, traveling South Africa to see the conditions firsthand, to learn more about South African culture, and most importantly, gain the trust of the anti-apartheid movement. They also spent their time navigating the bureaucratic morass of the government's permits and visa departments. Rogerson knew he would never be allowed to make a film about apartheid, so he told government officials he was making a travel log film for a travel agency. Eventually, he was given the paperwork he needed and then began the very secretive process of shooting the film. It's the story of one man's attempt to get a job to support his family. It's completely fictional, performed by untrained actors, but the location footage you'll see is all real. It's a powerful film. It shocked the world upon its release, except in South Africa where it wasn't shown for decades. From 1960 and featuring Grammy award-winning South African singer Miriam Makeba, who became world famous because of this film, Come Back Africa.